Linda Bart from the Bruce Company is here now taking your calls at 270-9933 and you have some autumnal flowers. Yes, aren't they beautiful? The sedum that's in bloom and of course asters are um, just starting to come in, into flower also. That's the sedum. It's a type of, uh, I think that actually is autumn dry sedum. And then uh, yellow cone flower. And then there's, I didn't catch the, the variety of that red one. It might be powwow or something, but they've got lots of combinations that look great with the purple. And bulbs? Purple. Bulbs are available at the, at the store. We've got lots to select from, and also garlic. This is a good time to be planting garlic. This it's a little early to be planting bulbs, but you can buy them, so you make sure you get the ones that you want, and then plant them in October. Then you got to have them on hand. Yes. Two seven zero nine nine three three is the number to call. We'll get to your questions right after the break. Well, Linda Barch is taking your plant questions. We'll start with Jerry in Verona. Hi, Jerry. Hi. Much question. Um, I was right. When I was growing up, my uh, mom, she used to bring uh, geraniums in in the summer and keep them inside and then replant them in the spring. Uh -huh. But you know, she'd pass away, and I never asked her how to do that. Oh, Jerry, so, did, well, I'm sorry about that. Yes, I um, am sorry about And you know, my mom, too, there were things I should have asked my mother before she was gone. But yeah. the geraniums, if you have a sunny window, I think the most reliable way is to actually just try to treat them as a house plant. You'll have leaves that are going to be dropping, but real sunny conditions. It has It's southern winter for sure. Other people have cut them off and put them in, in paper bags and hung them upside down in their, in their basement. Some folks actually just keep, leave them in the soil and let, let them go dormant. And then hopefully some of it will survive. They, they water it minimally, but again, they don't keep them growing. If you have a sunny window and can keep that plant alive, it'll get leggy, but it'll make it. And the next year you cut it back, take it outside and But they're not gonna it. survive outside in the winter. No, they will not. Geraniums are not hardy enough here. All right, Caroline in Mazamani. Hi, which question? Uh, my raspberry fruit has little white worms inside of them, and what do they come from, and is it too late to do anything about them? Well, I think that most of the raspberries that I'm familiar with, um, they're probably, I have seen gorgeous raspberries this year. I'm very sorry to hear that. Otherwise, you would probably have to do something prior to any, any kind of um, harvesting because most insecticides for fruit are going to say that you have to stop spraying a certain time in advance. So it might be too late. Yes, and I'm, I'm not sure what that is. I can try to check and talk about it next week. Okay. Let's go to Valerie in Stoughton. Hi, Valerie. Hi. Hi. What's your question? I have a, a question about mulberries, um, or blackberries, I'm sorry. I have a blackberry bush and it's producing a great deal of fruit, but um, the fruit has trouble um, ripening. Uh -huh. And um, also, even if, when they do ripen, the few that ripen are very sour. I'm wondering, oh. is there a condition of soil that's a problem? or um, How about sunlight? Else? Has something changed? Has, have the trees around these blackberries gotten larger and started to shade those, those um, vines? Um, no, I'm, um, I have a raspberry patch next to it, and the raspberries are fine. Okay. Um, and there's no trees. So. Blackberries. Mm. No, again, I, I'll try to see if I can find. So that's raspberries now and blackberries, I'll have to mention. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll go to quickly Trisha in Soldiers Grove. Trisha, you there? Yes. What's your question? I want to know what I should do with uh, mums when I buy them at either the grocery store or anywhere. If I, they seem to die when I get them. Okay. Plant them in the ground, leave them in the pot, what? Well, mums, first of all, you have to get a hardy mum that's going to survive in Wisconsin. A lot of mums are not designed to grow in Wisconsin. They aren't going to come into flower early enough. So make sure you, you, that you get a hardy mom. They typically have some little shoots at the base in the bottom of the pot. And then those are the ones that you plant in the ground and that's how they survive. They're not going to survive. The big ones you see at the store this time of year, those are just for decorative. They're not going to grow again. Right. They're, yeah, there's floral moms and then there's moms that are not hardy and the hardy ones. All right. Mom's the word. We're done. If you're on the line, <laughs> stay there. Linda will talk to you off the air. We'll see you next time. Very good. Actually, we'll see you on 4 o'clock. You're going to be on Live at 4 today. Oh, I'll see if I can check on the berries for that. <laughs> All right, let's go to...